Mr. Lambert, I'm so glad that you decided to keep our appointment. Please excuse the uh, present surroundings. The authorities take a dim view of my activities, so I'm obliged to exist where I can. I've been thinking about your offer, Mr. Kellen. You have my fee, I presume? You said there might be a place where a man could be free. Free from? Free from the life to which you are chained. Yes, there is such a place. But where? Here? Take a seat. Please. Think of our existence as all that there is, all that there will be. But philosophers and the scientists will tell you there are many worlds beyond this one. An infinite number containing all outcomes, all possibilities. I will free your mind from this plane of existence and allow you to live for a while in a world of your choice. Drugs? Is that what this is? It's just the beginning of my process. There is no narcosis, no feelings of illusion. What you will experience will be real for you. Is that so hard to believe, Mr. Lambert? But have we not both known many wonders in our time? Sublime and terrifying. Whatever I wish for, whatever I want. Not what you think you should have, but what you must have. You might dream of murder. No then you will go to a world where you can murder. An orgy of violence and blood. It's not what I want at all. Perhaps you crave power. Then you will become a god. An almighty Zeus or a benign Buddha. I really don't think that's... Anything can drive your choice. Fame, gluttony, sexual bliss. Maybe you don't even know what it is that you actually want. God knows, the life that we live these days, there's little room for dreaming. But your heart knows. And I can let it speak. There's no shame in it. Every man deserves a moment of pure release, wouldn't you agree? But the cost. The process is complex and Great demands are made of my resources. Everything I have for a moment of release. And 10 years of your lifespan. 10 years. Travel between the worlds isn't easy, Mr. Lambert. Is your life so precious that you guard it so jealously? So much. I need to think about this. Think away.
Sorry, I got totally caught up at the office. Megan wants to talk to you about universities. She's got all the stuff laid out on the table. I completely forgot. <sighs> Look, she really needs your advice on this. Okay, why don't you make a start and I'll get us some food. Oh, and the damp's back in the spare room. You should go and take a look at it. Sarah. The widespread flooding in Northern Europe continues. The European Parliament has declared an emergency in the Netherlands where thousands have been made homeless by unprecedented high tides. Here at home, the Prime Minister has again stated that the nation's coastal defences are more than capable of withstanding what are described as freak weather conditions and that there is no danger... Come on, Albie. Time to eat your breakfast. Daddy? Do you think if it rains enough, we won't have to go to school? Like when it snowed? Come on, Albie, you're going to be late for school again. Can I move on, Albie? Maybe if it rained enough, I wouldn't have to go to work. And we could both stay home and do drawings. Yes, we'd all like to stay at home and do drawings, but that's not the way the world works, is it? Now focus, focus, focus! Guidelines. Such a mess. Market's in turmoil. Turmoil? Do you think it'll hurt us? Well, our profit margin's history, that's a fact. And for what? Hmm? To ease their guilt. It's only where a heartbeat away from major layoffs. Well, surely it won't come to that. We'll bounce back, won't mm -hmm. we? A close run thing. And I don't need it now. What with Jenny's solicitor chasing me? Why can't you just sit down with her and work it out like adults? We're well past that. She's going for the jugular. So? Light at the end of the tunnel. Let me tell you, the feeling of freedom now that I'm almost done with it, it's indescribable. You almost sound like you're enjoying it. Hmm. You know something I think I am? I've lost sight of what I used to be. Now I've found it again. And more. want us at least to come and say goodbye to you at the station. I mean, we could do that, right? Well, I have meetings. We're announcing the redundancies today. <sighs> it's OK, Mum, honestly. Sam and Kelly are in the same hall of residence and we're all getting the train together. I'm sorry. It's OK. Off you go. Go on. Be good to Mum. You okay? Can't sleep. Anything you want to tell me about? Just work. It's getting worse. Have I been letting it show? us all being together. Life is rolling past over us like a wave. Mommy! 
It's okay. I'll go. Mummy! It's okay, Alfie. It's okay. Daddy's here. Hmm? Rained. It rained. It didn't stop. Water was in the streets. Filled up our house. Everybody swam away and left me. It was only a dream, okay? You're fine. We're fine. But you swam away. I'm here now, I'll be. I'll always be here. Always. Always. Is it enough? More than enough. Thank you. I'm sorry I have to take so much, but now you understand how important the work. <sighs> Thank you. I think you'll be able to make it permanent, so we never have to come back. I'm trying, Mr. Lambert. I am trying. 